royal administrator of the kingdom of Qin. As you are aware, not long ago, Zheng Guo, emissary and chief architect from the lecherous state of Han, arrived in our capital of Yong, seeking an audience with our leader, King Zhuangxiang. Surprisingly, instead of being summarily executed, this Han vermin actually had his request granted. In fact, he evidently convinced our normally wise leader of the importance of some construction scheme, a canal linking the Liu and Jiang rivers. According to this yak-brain emissary, such a canal would facilitate moving produce and supplies north of unnavigatable portions of the Wei River. The decision has been made. The canal shall be built. Thus, it is that our noble king, trusting in your abilities, wishes for you to oversee construction of the canal in the mountainous Huangshan region. Engineers have already dug a pass through one high ridge and marked the canal's path, but a lot of excavating work is still to be done. You must establish work settlements and keep the peasants' noses in the dirt. Luckily, that region is also known to be rich in iron ore. Producing weapons and training some troops is advisable. Both are likely to be needed as our borders are still in flux. Right, welcome back to Emperor. We are starting the new Qin Dynasty today, which I'm very excited about. So let's go straight to the city and see what we, what we must do. The game is paused, so we immediately see the canal or the soon to be canal here. And up in the corner, we can actually see how it's going to look afterwards. So this mission with its goals of producing some iron and building the canal is actually straightforward. The only problem is that soon after starting the build, there's going to be a invasion, which we must deal with. And yeah, so we must in the beginning prepare for this invasion and not go broke before we can start digging up this canal. So let's start building our city. I do. Um, have some good feng shui for our inspector and watchtower on this side. So let's start building here. I do also want to be away from the canal because at the moment this, its desirability is not so good. So I will plan for a wall, then a garden, then a house, and then the road can come around. We do our regular block because this mission is quite hard because of this invasion. So we are going to concentrate on not getting conquered. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine houses as always. And then we go around like this and we can see where we can put some services. So there is good feng shui for the well herbalist acupuncturist and ancestral shrine we do not need taoism because we're not going to get a taoist hero down anyway so we are just not going to do that so here we just put down as many houses as possible also because we want to have only one housing block uh, about here i am going to come out with a road to connect our market and uh, i see let's do that it's fine i think everywhere else the function is not good so let's stick with that Quite many houses already. We are going to come out with this, and as you can see, we can put down a market square around here. We can also fit a mill somewhere around here. We do have good feng shui on this side for the warehouse and the inspector, so everything should be fine. We are going to roadblock this with a gate. Put in some gardens already just because 
we want those houses to evolve. Also on this side, like this, and like this. That's okay. Now, as I mentioned before, we do want to concentrate on this invasion. So what I want to do is set up my industry on this side, which will involve a rock coming, coming along the canal. And we need a uh, post like this. And then here in the corner, we're going to roadblock like this because we do not want the inspector to wander onto this side. Then we are already open to trade with Yong. So we are going to do that. And also here, we are going to curve around and have a warehouse here. This warehouse will store various good goods that we will get or need to stockpile during this mission. So we also need about four of those iron smelters and I'm leaving a gap so the iron guys can walk through and then I'm going to just put down one weapon smith to produce some of our own weapons. This is looking fine. Now this here we must make sure that we're actually as close to the wall here or this rock face if we look from this side as possible because we do want to use this feng shui and we're gonna connect up like this and then on this side we're going to make some kind of loop that we are going to use to produce some ceramics because we do want to first produce ceramics for our own use but also later on there is a trade route that will sell ceramics let's move this one over so we can actually have a pass through like this so the inspector is going to walk like this the reason i am doing it like this again here is so these this road is not connected with this loop, so the inspector will always walk it, his loop. If we design this like this, it's also nice because we do get good feng shui, or actually we, it's possible to put down those clay pits, and then it's also to put down quite many of those kilts, which is very nice. So let's put down the inspector, make sure that he spawns the correct side and then we're going to start with one clay pit and two kilns but before we do that let's unpause the game and have some people move in because we do want everything to be safe again i hope this is not going to collapse I, of course, always do it too early. And then those guys are probably going to walk the wrong way. Of course, every time I mess it up, of course, I want them to walk this way because it's going to take way too long. And our industry here might burn down, which, of course, is not so good. Yes. Come on, move in, please. Yeah, some of our iron smelters are collapsing, or all of them actually. It's fine, maybe one day I will learn to actually do this. Because of this mistake, of course, the whole city is falling apart. So please go back and do your job. 
And then here, let's put back those iron smelters. Now pause and quickly send a trade request to Linze. I'm not sure if you pronounce this like this. I'm not sure about the tones, but I'm gonna try anyways. And then sabotage the military of Shu. Because Shu is the one that's going to invade us. Of course, I know this because I've played through Emperor many times. So we are going to immediately put down the administrative city. And also we do want a fort right away. And the fort should fit somewhere around here. Like this. Our spy going out and so our emissary. And then what we can do is buy some weapons to immediately start building up our military. Um, we are actually also going to prioritize the military right away, which is something I rarely do, but we do need everything we can get. People are still moving in, so I can expand a little bit with one warehouse that will fit here. And then, as I said before, we can put down two kilns and one clay pit. And then actually just do this like this. So it looks a little bit nicer. And this of course is going to accept ceramics. The reason I'm producing ceramics, there's actually two reasons. One is that I want to give some stuff to our ancestors, which hopefully will not get angry. The other one is that I will try to open up the trade route to Linze, which just rejected our agreement. But the point is that I can send some ceramics to him later or to them, and hopefully they will start trading. So this should be working fine. As I said, I'm importing weapons right away because we do want to have as many soldiers as we possibly can. Yes, that's good. And then what's the problem here? Oh, appeal. So actually, what do we have? Red gate. So let's do something like this and actually build in a gate on this side as well. From behind and actually do something like this and then here let's prepare for our market like this should be fine for now there's 35 people still needed but still people are moving in so this should actually work out nicely we are producing iron soon, which is also good. Some ceramic should also be coming in at some point. And then we must see how we can develop our city further. As soon as we have overcome this invasion, everything else is pretty straightforward. I'm just very afraid. So actually, let's quickly save here. How far are we into our saves? That should be 19 now, in that case. So let's do that, just in case something goes wrong. Are there still people moving in? Two more, okay. So we will have a short struggle at some point, but it should be fine. How is this looking? Industry, commerce, I think at the moment probably government can take the hits because we're not taxing our people. We should do that though because money probably at some point is be going to be an issue. Um, we do also, what was that? No festival, okay. We do probably want to sell some iron. And let's set up just a very simple 
thing here and do this and then have him walk like this and put down the market square rope block this off and where do we put our mill oh okay i think we can put the mill like this and then quickly check if the inspector actually reaches here and let's do a little extension of our wall just because this has very bad desirability let's quickly check what this does for our workers 44 and let's see what this is we probably need to change this like this and then see yes perfect he does cover so that's fine we do have quite many soldiers which is good so actually let's sell some iron just to stay afloat with our money what we also must be careful about is that actually there's quite many spies going around on this map from a certain point onwards how many soldiers do we have have 13 so actually let's buy some more weapons to hopefully fill up our entire fort this one more 14 yes so we should be able to get some more soldiers and actually we cannot build any more or we cannot build any towers which is a shame because i think that's exactly what will be helpful on this map now what else do we want we do want some hunters to go hunt for some food so i am going to extend the road like this and roadblock and then put those hunters tents around here three this good feng shui yes we need more workers i know so for the moment let's do that and let's just balance this for the moment should be fine and then the ceramics we have they're still feeling neglected how many do we have 500 so maybe one more and then we can send off a gift we stop importing weapons let's quickly check the spy those sabotaging which is good and 500 ceramics still and actually i do want a watchtower here because i'm afraid of spies so hopefully if there's spies in this circle here they are being caught by this guy hopefully This is accepting everything, which is good. And let's send out a gift to who did I send this thing to? Lindsay. Oh, right. So let's give them a gift of ceramics. Or let's wait. Or maybe one more load and then, oh actually we need eight loads so let's wait for that because it always costs money to do that so we might want to make sure that actually the maximum amount is going out our board is full which is great so actually no maybe it will weaken our military strength if we de uh, decrease the amount of workers so let's not do that we are getting some meat which is good so hopefully soon we can do a first feeding and actually get some more people in because we are very short of workers shoes still being sabotaged right one more 
and then we can send the gift. And then we also need to see next year, we probably want some hemp being produced. So let's already prepare for that. I'm just gonna build a row like this for the hemp to come down here. We will need a second warehouse around here like this but i'm going to wait because we do not have workers to take care of this now what is oh they do not have enough workers oh. let's increase this because yeah they really need to be full to be working properly so we can provide this just always checking if the spy is still active and now we can send out our medium gift of eight crates wait one month and then send out thank you very much for the money um send out the trading request that's our gift leaving the city very nice and maybe because we were so efficient this innovation might actually not come let's save one more time because probably I just jinx myself. But for the moment, yeah. Just wait for some more meat. And we need our hemp farm now, I think. So one, two, three. This should be fine. Could have done it a little bit more easy, but. Let's just do that. Agriculture is prioritized, so in April this is going to start growing. I think one should be enough, and then we do want to slowly increase our ceramics production, because we do want to sell ceramics, but also we do want to give them to the gods, which are unhappy, which is not good. So, yeah, the first load of hemp probably will go to the gods. And to save some workers, let's just accept all the hemp into there. Meat is stockpiling, so let's put down one food shop and offer some bland food. Here, open per market employees, so they can actually go out and distribute. And I think those, yes, so just wanted to mention the trading request, which I forgot to send. So let's just send it right now. Those ceramics here, I will um, give to the gods. Food has gone out. So actually, a decent amount of our block was fed, which is very nice. So actually, because I really want to get things going, and we were not invaded yet, which is great news. I want to see if I can squeeze in a farm here. So that would be one, two, three, and then one, two, three. I think that is a perfect fit, actually. So let's do that and grow some wheat and some cabbages. Wheat and cabbage is actually a perfect combination when you build a farm with two different crops because they grow in different seasons, which is exactly what you want. Got, yes, we still have Probably our industry yeah, is not so happy about our worker distribution, so we're just going to have to wait for the hemp for us to really get things going. Of course, I can also not uh, start building the canal because we just do not have enough workers. I want to keep this iron industry going because of our money, which is actually the first time probably, I, no, I hope I don't jinx myself, but it's the first time 
I'm not grossly in debt when I start one of those missions. And now that people are coming in, we actually do want to increase the pottery production or the ceramics production rather. And I squeeze the depot here. Of course I can't, but it can go here or even here, which would be a good spot as soon as we have some more workers and some more ceramics. Food keeps going out. The market has one stored food and then immediately drops to zero, but that's fine. We just need the worker boost for the moment and these cabbages should come in at some point. There's also some wheat coming in, which is great. We are producing quite a lot of iron, which is also good. So let's just increase this as soon as we can give some stuff to our gods. We do not want to get first. Huh. I'm still amazed that this invasion didn't show up, which of course is great news for us. Oh, it will stay like this. Actually, let's increase our ceramics production. Let's double it and let's also start trading some of those ceramics. Let's always keep four inside here. And then the rest can go up. We need 93 workers, okay. As soon as food is stabilized, that should be okay. This can actually be turned off. Someone is coughing. Um, three weapons. No, let's give ceramics. So at least the gods don't seem to be interested in cursing us, which is good. Young doesn't buy cabbage, it's fine because we don't want to sell them any cabbages anyways. Mm, thinking how I could optimize this. Irrigation would be probably a good idea, but it's a quite a tight fit, so I'm not sure how about here. Can I irrigate? I could actually irrigate my fields if I build a second farm over there. Hmm. Good to know. Good to know. So, do not forget to turn off, tur turn on rather our hemp production. Let's give some gifts to the gods. And I think next end of next year we can finally expand a little bit more and start working on the canal. Iron Gall is already hit, which is great. Bye, still working in our enemy city, which is great. We do have an unhappy god, so let's give some M. Young needs four bars of iron. That was expected, and that's why we have this warehouse here. We can actually get some of this iron if we start stockpiling. And it will fill up, and I think we should be able to do this or deal with this request. 49 workers needed and most of them in government we do need oh that's why we do need to turn on our farm and i think i do want to provide appetizing food later so i am going to put down one farmhouse here one two three four five i think i do it like this because I do want space for some irrigation to further increase the amount of food we can grow. And let's take care of that. Cabbage and wheat. Come on. 
and then we are going to put down an irrigation pump. We do need a road connection, and then we can put down the ditch, which can just go around like this, and then like this. And this should be working. Let's connect it up at some point. Like this, and then have it go like this. Should be fine. Of course, this will further... Oh, I just noticed here there's no connection to walk. So we do probably... Will this work? No, okay. So we do need to break it there. I think now it should work. Dispatch the iron and then let's uh, start exporting iron again. Um, I do need to change this layout here a little bit because of the lack of space there um, let's do it like this and then have a road connection let's just do it like this I think the farm is going to be very efficient because of our irrigation so let's put back one more like this I think this will be plenty of efficiency right, like this. It's not so nice, but it will work, I think. So let's give some more stuff to the unhappy gods. We spent quite some money setting this up, so we should... Prices increase for iron, that's very good. As soon as we can... We are going to put a warehouse here. Let's actually do it now. And this one is going to get some ceramics and it's going to just accept hemp like this. And then let's not have hemp in here anymore. And this should be fine. We're also slowly stocking up some weapons, which we will also need at a later point. Let's actually get this iron out to the world. Let's see our spy still working as intended. And as long as we can stay afloat with our money, I think we're just going to just export this iron and this what are we exporting ceramics this is looking like it will be a decent harvest which of course is very good news but neglected good enough for the moment because i really want to store up some of this food Let's increase the amount of wheat and what else are we growing? Cabbage. And then let's already switch over to appetizing foods. No, not appetizing, plain foods. Sorry. And let's get some hemp into the market. This is of course going to be again terrible for our workers. But as soon as we have workers in our city, by the evolving houses, we should be fine. Now this here will supply some wood, because we also want to start taxing our people. Now let's give four hemp to each of the gods, while we can see our houses evolve. And because we have a little bit of money, let's finish our wall. And then later on we can continue decorating. 
We do have plain food and we have hemp in our market, which is great. Check on our spy. And that's actually all looking pretty good. So those workers coming in, they will help us start working on our canal, which is great. Canal will involve digging dirt and also digging out rocks. And in the beginning you cannot or you don't have to put down the masons because they work only after the dirt guys, the labor camp guys have finished their work. So actually that's how you can also save some workers. Right. Cabbages are coming in plentiful, I would say. So soon, if our worker situation is bad, we can also, for the first time, celebrate. And then we can also immediately go to appetizing food. We still haven't sold any ceramics, I think, but we can with the newly acquired workforce increase our ceramics production even further. Let's shortcut here. I am a big fan of shortcuts in your city. And some ceramics have come in, which is good. So I think we are ready to evolve even further because we do need the workers actually so let's do that let's get some ceramics in let's give a small amount of hemp to Nua although she did not really enjoy that gift too much but it's fine so this should be taken care of I do not see any spies at the moment. Our spy, however, is still working. So let's actually start working on our canal, which actually is the only thing we still need to do. So this is evolving very nicely. What's your problem? Appetizing foods, that's fine. That should be coming in very shortly. Let's give just a small gift of weapons I think we can afford it and now let's quickly pause workers we have plenty so let's put down the necessary things so we are going to need rocks and dirt pushers or laborers I keep calling them dirt pushers but they're of course laborers now labor camp can go here and labor camps only need a row connection to the camp but not really to the monument which is good and then we are going to put another one on this side just to distribute this a little bit and then let's cut the road a little bit also because just do that that hopefully these workers are going to access the monument at the nearest point to them and then i need to produce a lot of so let's do maybe five of those stoneworks. So let's do one, two, three, four, five. Of course, I'm leaving some gaps so they can walk through. And then, oh, we did go into debt. Those seem to be quite expensive. So let's just put down the warehouse. Can I put down two warehouses? I move this over a little bit. Should be okay because we do need a lot of food. So let's do two. And then, of course, it's stone. And I still haven't learned to call it that. I still keep calling it a rock, but it's fine. And then we just need one connection to the monument for them to drop this the stone into there. Now, workers probably, yes, a little bit struggling, but still people are moving in. Also, I do want to start taxing my people because I've been 
producing wood, of which of course we also want to uh, use. And this here, neighborhoods appeal. Oh, we actually get money from our ally. Is there? Are they our ally? I'm not sure, but we get money anyway. So even we can decorate our block a little bit, which is what Actually, let me, just for the aesthetic, put a statue in there. So we did run out of food, which I'm not sure if that's the work of a spy or not. Um, however, we do need to make sure our gods do not curse us. Young needs weapons, dispatch, no problem. And this is going very, very smoothly, I think. That's so good. Probably never been so well off in this mission, which of course is very good. Let's put down one more hunter because we kind of ran out of meat. And we can now start dropping our wages a little bit because we actually are filling up on workers. So this is probably the maximum amount of workers we're going to need. I am actually also going to put another dragon statue on this side, just for the symmetry. And those houses will evolve. Young Lexus, which is good. Maybe... yes, that's also fine. Maybe we will not celebrate next year, just because we should probably save up some meat. Now Shu has caught our spy, so let's keep sabotaging their military. And hope that they will not invade. Time for another secret mission for the master. I shall not fail. Yes, you shall not. So has meat come in? It hasn't, which is a little bit strange. But we do still have some appetizing food. So hopefully this will be enough with two food shops will survive longer than without of course let's drop wages a little bit as much as possible actually and maybe we can even afford to import some bean curds from here 32 times 12 yeah i think that should be okay and this will help us to sustain our housing block. Now, do we still need this warehouse? I don't think so, because we are storing ceramics down here. We are giving some to the gods. This, and then those can go down. And actually, let's delete this to... Uh, save some workers. Now, is this getting bean curd? Yes, so let's not accept all of this stuff. Game meat, of course, we do want to still accept. And they should go out and get some bean curds to stabilize our food supply. Let's not celebrate because that's going to mess up our food supply. Gods are still doing okay, so really we are just waiting for this monument to be built. Everything else seems to be quite stable. Could we somehow produce more iron? Probably. Yeah, but yeah, let's not bother. Money is reasonably stable. Not that like we can fill up our treasures or treasury but it's good enough for us these irrigation or irrigated fields are of course also increasing our efficiency in our city so all in all now we have four types of food which is how i prefer things to work like four types of food for three types in the market helps keeping everything stable so it's actually very nice so this so let's just give some hemp i think hemp 
We do have plenty, yes, they're still standing in line here. Let's quickly check on something here. Um, hazards. Is this stable enough? Because the inspector is turning around immediately after he came here. Which makes me think if this damage bar here is completely dropping or not. It is, so that's no problem. So meat has no space, which is fine, I guess, because now probably we can stop buying the bean curds and just concentrating on exporting. And we can see that this monument is coming along very nicely. We're just slowly stocking up the rocks, stones, because of course we are going to need quite a lot of those. Those guys. This project is going to be the death of me. Yes, probably will. And they're walking straight through our administrative city, which I'm not sure if they would have ever been allowed in there in ancient China, but we're just going to ignore that for now. Weapons are stockpiling. Do we need more weapons? I think for the moment I'm just going to turn this off to save some workers. How are axes? Hi. Okay, that's good. Let's ask an inspector if there's any unrest. This city is prettier than the most beautiful concubine in China. Doesn't seem to be the case, so actually we're doing so well. I've probably never played this mission as well as this time, which is very nice, of course. Let's give some more ceramics so they're pleased. So meat has been stored up somewhere, I guess, because they are completely full with two loads each, which, of course, will mean that as soon as one food disappears, another one is going to go right into our mill probably let's just drop everything to eight now we could also sell some of this stuff somewhere cabbages but yeah our money is slowly going up which is great i am going to put down another warehouse if i can because those have filled up Yes, and... Oh, did we start dropping the rocks? So, okay. Let's not do that. We... Let's quickly check. We'll not need any more digging. So we can delete those labor camps and replace them with masons. Let's do two over here. And... one here and then those masons they're going in and they will have to hammer here on this side and then hammer on the other side and then we can see that our monument is slowly going to be built up now here because now the stone is going in we can actually empty this into here and then delete this because one is going to be enough. Because every time there's four inside of here, they are going to drop it into our trench here. Um, sure, let's have a festival. We can, we still have food available, so that's no problem. Iron is still being produced. So now, yeah, now it's pretty much an easy win from now on. Let's get new uh, into our city, why not? Well, let's try at least. Strange that I haven't caught any spies yet, because last time I was playing this, I specifically remember this being plagued with spies. And also, of course, the invasion, which is very, very hard to beat if you don't know what you're doing. How much do they buy? 12, so 
Actually, probably we can just deactivate one of those. We also hit our target here, so we actually hit the target way over, almost double. So that's going to further save us some workers, and this is coming along quite nicely, actually. So zero workers needed. Very nice. Let's give out some more ceramics. Here we sell just the full amount. Let's delete this here. I like when these wooden bridges change into the stone bridges. Looks very nice. Do we, just to be safe, want to import some bean cards? I think we do. Just to make sure that we don't do Right, but that we don't run out of the three types of food. Let's quickly ask a mason what he has to say. I should quit this job if I work around pretty women. That's okay. <laughs> Did not expect this, but sure. Does he say anything else? Doesn't seem to work. I must catch one that's spawning at the mason guild. This Chinese character here means stone, in case you're wondering. And yeah, because it's a stone mason guild, obviously. And yeah, we're just waiting. I should quit this job if I work around pretty women. Yes, I was... My talents are yes. required at the construction site. I, was, I only knew this, the talents are required. I never heard the one with the pretty women. But hey, um, we do get three racks of weapons. Thank you, I guess, because we definitely do not need them. Although, we do want... Let's send two spies to Shu just to keep them busy and not invading us in the last minute. This here... Our city's glory burns brighter than the New Year's fireworks. All looking very nice. On the, let's give him some of the weapons because we don't seem to use them. And if we need, we can just always buy some or produce some. So that's no problem. What else? Our city actually already decorated, which is also nice. We could put in statue here just to make it look a little bit interesting what will fit scholar i think young needs 12 bars and what how long wait what you already asked me i, I missed it and i quickly oh i missed it 12 bars yeah how much do we have stored? Okay, let's try compliant because Yong has been quite good to us. So let's dock pile iron. We still need two more from the smelters and 10 we actually have inside there. So this should be possible. How much stone? 20 blocks still needed for this part here. Which is good. Let's send some stuff to Niwa. He's exalted. Oh, but Huang Di is already here, so that's fine. Uh, acrobats. Yeah, we do not have acrobats. I was wondering because he's an acupuncturist. Although we do have an acupuncturist, I'm just silly. Yeah, no problem. How much iron do we have? 12 bars, so... Young. There we go. And then let's give him a gift of cabbage. Just because we do... We did miss this request, which is a shame. Yeah, so let's not stockpile. Let's sell some more if we can. And watch the monument be finished. Everything else seems like it's working out perfectly. Market fully stocked. 
Yeah, no worries. Everything's fine. The trick is that you don't connect the, the stone warehouse to this road. Because if you do, then they will walk the stone to where it's needed. Whereas if it's only connected like this, they will just drop it in here and it will magically appear on this side. So that's a little trick to speed up the monument building. We need four more. So let's quickly give another gift to Huangdi. Let's do ceramics because we have so many. And let's watch the masons finish the job. And we have the Grand Canal complete. So let's pause the game to quickly look at the monument. This is but one small portion of the marvelous new Grand Canal that now ties agriculturally rich southern China with the more populous Yellow River Valley. Right, and as you can see, this is looking very, very nice. Also, the desirability now, if we look at it. Oh, actually, it's, it's still very unappealing, really. I thought it would be good appeal after it's built, but apparently not. It's okay because we do have a red wall around our city. So actually, this is it, I guess. We were never inva invaded, which is the first time this has happened to me. That we were not invaded, which is great. So... Yeah, I think we just unpause and finish this first mission, the Jin Dynasty. Where is the win? There's people still coming to our city, which is nice. There we go. It has since been discovered that the idea for the canal was, after all, a cunning scheme by the treacherous state of Han. They hope to bankrupt our coffers on a foolish project. Instead, their plan has backfired, and they are the fools. The Han Kingdom now lies prostrate beneath the Iron Blade of Qin, and it was this wonderful canal that has allowed the produce of our farmlands to better supply our invincible troops. It is certain that other kingdoms will also topple, like Majang tiles before the might of Qin. Unification of the land under the glorious banner of Qin is all but assured. All right, let's quickly look at the score. And we're going to end it right here. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.